17. I'll bring them right there. Jelly, come over here and then. We should start outside the plane. Let's start outside the plane. This is my flight instructor, Billy. We're at Somerset Airport, and this is my flight instructor, Billy Randolph. And we're going to do a pre-flight check to make sure that the plane is in what? Airworthy condition. Airworthy condition. Uh, the first thing we have to do is look for all of the documentation. You need A, R, O, and W. A is the airworthiness, which is here. Um, R is the registration. And then O is the operating manual or handbook. And then in the operating handbook is the weight and balance, which is W. And they're all there. <laughs> then you have to turn the master on and your check for the fuel so you have left and right tanks and then circuit breaker checks yeah check all your circuit breakers and lights your beacon and landing light so the beacon is the light the red light out there Landing lights over here. You have to come on this side. Outside. Okay. What? No, you have to see it. Okay, where is it? Okay, fine, you don't. Okay, and then you can turn these all off. So we already extend the flaps. Can I just do that because it's cool looking? Sure. Master on. So that's everything on the inside of the plane, and then on the outside of the plane, you can check, you have to check the tires or the landing gear. You have to make sure that there's no bald spots, that there's enough tire pressure, like the tire isn't flat, there's no brake fluid, and the brake pads are there. Um, these are the flaps for the pre-flight check, you leave them extended. That there's a little movement, but not a lot. This is the aileron. You have to check for full and correct movement. And you can see the on the inside yeah, it moves when you do it. And the other one goes opposite. Right. No. <laughs> Nothing. Do you want to look at the hinges? That's them. <laughs> now what? Fuel. Fuel. Thank you. Can you explain that bottle? No. Can you really not cut these out? Come on. It's telling you that so you actually try hard here. Right. I don't like trying. Um, Explain the bottle. It's a Gax jar. Right. What? It's a Gax jar. It's, it's, name. it's a Gax jar. Right. It's called. It's the company that makes it. All right. So it's our fuel sample jar. Okay. We're gonna stick that little needle up the hole. The fuel's gonna come out. Then collects at the bottom where we can spin it and make sure there's no water at the bottom. Then has a filter at the top where we can pour the fuel back in, taking out any of the contaminants. Good. Gax jar. Say that. Yep. Any, any piece of that would be good. Say, say what you're doing. What's the purpose of what you're doing? This is a gag jar. You use it to test, check 
check, test, check the fuel. You get a sample from each of the Ports. tanks. Okay. Well, we know there are five separate tanks, or is it all in one? It's one tank, it's just different points in the tank. Different points in the tank to make sure that it's there. What kind of gas does the plane use? <laughs> you don't get to ask questions. Okay. What's the octane? Why is it blue? Did I do this one already? One of the answers to the answer to one of those questions is a hundred Lola, but that's all I know. Okay. Okay, so it's blue, there's nothing in it, and there's no water at the bottom. Yes. Okay. My little guy. What are you doing now? Okay. This time I got 17. Why does he keep what? It's a quarter inch. Quarter inch, right? So, pump it twice. How I do it is I just put my finger to the base here. Mm -hmm. I go up a little bit, slide to my finger again quarter inch. Should I do that? Yeah. Do it twice? No, nah, I did it twice. You don't have to do okay. it. Yeah, so put your finger to it. Slide back about a quarter of an inch. Sure. Now just get an inside to it. Boom. <laughs> Make sure full lean. Okay, so that's all the way out, right? <laughs> right. And with that's this so one, weird. you need to push Press the button. button. Uh-huh.
See, that's what I said. Two thumbs up. Go ahead, say it. No. Say it. Next lesson on how we crap.